Hello, this is our second lesson on graphing reciprocal functions. And in this one, we'll be looking at graphing the reciprocals of quadratic functions. In our first example, the original parabola has already been given to us. And all we need to do is follow the four steps. Let's just throw some arrows on here to remind ourselves that they're there. Is follow the four steps. And we'll basically end up with our reciprocal graph. So you remember step one. We're looking for points where y equals 1 and negative 1 on the original, because when we flip them, they'll be the same points on our reciprocal graph. Well, here's a point. Oops, let's get that red. There we go. There's y equals 1. There's y equals 1. And there's y equals negative 1. Perfect. Next thing we need to look for y equals 0 on our original, because those will be vertical asymptotes on our new graph and notice this time we have two points where y equals zero on the parabola so we have two vertical asymptotes perfect and now we just need to choose some points and start flipping so let's start with some easy ones there's two there and four there. They'll flip over to a half and a quarter. And there's y equals a half, y equals a quarter. And those will flip over to two and four. So there's the first, oops. Don't want that to touch the asymptote. There's the first slice of our reciprocal function there. Okay, let's look at the middle now. Well, we don't have any big numbers, so we just have some fractions we need to flip. So there's y equals a half there, y equals a quarter there. So a half will flip up to, t or sorry, negative a half will flip to two negative a quarter, I'll flip down to negative four. And the same thing is going to happen over here. There's negative a half, somewhere around there, negative a quarter there. And that'll be negative two, negative four. So this guy is going to go down that asymptote that way. And down that asymptote that way. And again, we can start with bigger numbers over here. There's y equals 2 there, y equals 4 there, down to a half, down to a quarter. There's y equals a half there, y equals a quarter there. A half flips to 2, and a quarter is going to flip to 4. And we'll fill in this last piece. So notice we've got three chunks on our reciprocal graph. And now it just asks us for the equations of the asymptotes. That asymptote is y equals 0. That guy is x equals negative 3. And that guy is x equals 1. And now question three, we need to graph the parabola they've given us and its reciprocal. I have already graphed the parabola, so let's just go through the four steps and do the reciprocal. So step one, find places where y equals one or negative one. Well, it doesn't. Okay, on to step two. Where does y equal zero? It doesn't. Okay, so I guess we'll go to step three and look for points to flip. Well, here, y equals negative 2. So that'll flip to negative 1 half. We got two points here where y equals negative 4. Those will flip to negative a quarter. And then as that parabola keeps getting lower and lower, this guy will keep getting closer and closer to the x-axis. 
And that's it. As uninteresting as it is, that's what the graph of y equals 1 over negative 1 half x plus 1 squared minus 2 is. And we've only got one asymptote, which is right there at y equals 0.